Hi Flosstube, it's Kiara. I'm back for my third or fourth video, I don't know. Um, today is eight, Tuesday, April 20th, 2021. It's a gray and cold day here in Arkansas. Um, life has been a little bit crazy. We're in the home stretch with our house. My husband went back to work. So me and my eight year old are trying, almost eight year old are trying to get into a routine. Um, my my son goes to school in person here in Arkansas, so he's doing great. Um, just trying to go through. Not a lot of stick. Well, I don't know. I probably will ramble on for a while, but a lot of stitchy stuff going on. But um, I had told you all I had gotten started sewing and other things and craftiness. Um, sewing kids' clothes. Um sewing kids Disney clothes. And that led me to a wonderful community, much like this um, cross stitch community, which I wanna say thank you for all the likes, the shares, the shout outs. Um, I know this past week, um, Jenna Jabber sent, um, shouted me out and she was so cute because she thought she said my name wrong, but she did a great job. You know what, my name is becoming more common, um, but it's great. Um, just, I like, mispronunciation happens. We have so many different dialects and stuff here in the United States. So it's totally understandable. So I was telling you about the community I had. I have a friend who makes, um, runs a business and she makes the cutest Disney bags. And I try to get on her books every time because we are, we generally before coronavirus go to Disney three or four times a year. Right now, we're going in October for my 50th birthday. So I just told you all how old I am. <laughs> um, and I wanted a new bag. And I love Orange Bird. Um, I love Disney in general, but I love Orange Bird. So here is the new bag I got from my friend Dee. Um, she has a shop. Um, she only opens her books twice a year because she's always inundated. So I will link her shop, face, her shop down below. Um, but is this not the cutest? She does the best work. Um, and this is all hand applique and she, she never does the same bag twice. So it's so great. And then look at that is that not the best inside and I usually tell her no yellow for bags but I said for this one it's orange bird you can do yellow it's fine because I kind of knew it would be fabulous so I just wanted to show my 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 beautiful bag from my friend D um so I did last week I forgot to show you guys the finish I had so I figured I would just save it for this week I started this back in October of 2020. We were staying with my mom. We were in the process of selling our house. So, well, we were actually in the process of closing in New York. So we were staying with my mom. I needed something to do. This became my thing. And for some reason, it took me so long to do. And I don't know why. It wasn't a complicated pattern, but I love it. It, it also ties into Disney because they have the Boo to You parade at Disney World for the Halloween party. So here is my Boo to You. It's from Stitching with the Housewives. I just have to finish it. I'm not, I don't fully finish that often, I'm noticing. I'm gonna have to get a little bit better with that. Um, but I love how this came out. It makes me so happy. I was so glad when my lobster claw came in um, so I could finish, but I love it. I just love it. I love anything that has numbers. So that was my finish. Let me just put it with my other finishes. I need to get a hanger for all my finishes. Um, I do have a lot of haul. For some reason, I have a lot of haul again. I like to shop. So let's go on to whips. Whips, whips, whips. So... Okay, let's start with my Jesse Watson Sal. And I saw another Sal this morning for another sampler on Instagram. So 
So we'll have to see about that. I'm loving samplers. So, oh, let me just see. Okay. I just wanted the picture of the whole chart to show you. So this is the Jesse Watson um, sampler from Hands Across the Sea. Um, this sale is being hosted by Barbara from um, Raspberry Stitcher. She is she has a floss tube. She um, this is to bring awareness to autism. She has a son who is autistic. Um, and her goal is to be done by April of 2022 when her son is no longer a teenager, he becomes 20. Um, my son is much younger than hers. <laughs> my son just turned 13. So anything we can do to bring a little bit of awareness to autism, I think is a great idea. So for, for April, we were supposed to finish this section right here and I did. Um, and I decided I was only going to bring this out on Sundays. And then I saw somebody on Instagram post posting their progress. And this has been such a dream to um, stitch that I decided I'm going to maybe pull it out every other day or maybe just do one thread. But I pulled this out on Sunday and I finished, or maybe it was Saturday. I came down a little bit more. I did, I'm trying to break it in 10 to 20 increments. And our next section for May is this alphabet right here. It's two rows. So this came down a little bit past it. And then I wanted to finish the motif. So I came down this a little bit further here. And then I did the first letter and I came across with this. This border is in the same color as the first thing. So I think I'm gonna do maybe a cup, maybe Maybe every day do one letter and get ahead because I know in May with us moving, uh, we have to go pick my daughter up from college. It's just gonna be a crazy month. So I figured if I could work ahead a little bit, that would be great too. But I am loving this um, sampler and I think I'm gonna fall in love with it um, even more. So my little one's in school and she's outside the door. She took a break, so she's smiling at me. I figured I would do this while she was in school, so. And if she gets in trouble, the teacher texts me, so. I can see. Um, then I worked on Liberty Typography. When I finished last week, I think I was just to, I had part of America done when I showed it to you last, so I got 1776. I got the Freedom. And I started on the L for Liberty. This was my change of the color that I had had. So this is um, the yellow from Forbidden Fiber. I will get you the name and I will show you the chart. I have to remember to take the charts out because sometimes I use working copies, especially if they have a lot of, like this one with the L, I'm gonna to have to do a lot of counting. So I like to mark on it. I don't always like to mark on the chart. So this is Liberty Typography. So I had done this, this, and I don't like this brown color they had. I don't know, just didn't sit right with me. And also on my coffee tea dyed Ada, it wasn't a great thing. So I changed these to um, a Forbidden Fiber Yellow. It is Forbidden Fiber number 206 Marigold. And I will look, look, I will link Forbidden Fiber below. I love their product. It's a great product. Um, it's and I also believe it's a DMC base, so you get eight yards. I think that it was eight yards. Um, so this is it. So my goal this week is to try to get Liberty done. My goal is actually to finish this for Americana April, but I have to figure out. This is supposed to be felt and I don't like the felt, so I might kind of chart uh, my own little flags and put them in and then do the back stitch for the hanging of it. So I just have to figure out that because I've never um, charted anything myself. I'm assuming it can't be super difficult for a basic shape. So I'm going to figure that out. So like I said, I want to finish the word Liberty. And then there are only two other words besides and one motif. So. It's really not that difficult. 
and so but i'm really enjoying it and i think this is about a 20 count i have to get um things I'll be right back. I'm going to leave this running because I do not know how to edit. But I forgot something I did this week and I wanted to show you guys. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I just wanted to have this here to show you. So then I also worked on, okay, we talked about that. I also worked on my Amazing Grace Sampler Sunday Stitches from Heartstring Samplery. This is the chart. I'm loving it. I didn't get quite to where I wanted to be for the for the week, but I got pretty close. I wanted to finish all of this right here. So when I left you last, I had a couple motifs and the word twas. And so I got all that. I finished the top motif. So I'm up to the words here. And I had to order more green. I had a lot of trouble with this um, week's Dye Works green. He just did not want to, it kept nodding up super bad. So I got there. So my goal is to finish has brought me and then start on the middle. And the spacing on this is, it's a lot of counting because it's rather far apart. So to make sure I get it. So I have to figure the best way to get down to the next row but i'll get there and it, it, it's quick once you start that's the one thing i'm loving about um the jesse watson chart is that once you start doing the border and stuff it's just repetitive so it's kind of mindless same with um this these motifs once you get into a thing it's kind of mindless stitching so i do the outline and then i just go back and fill in so that's all cool and then I did have a new start because I, I wanted a new start. Don't we all? I have a hair that's like on my face. It's annoying. Uh, so, excuse me, let me get something to drink. Okay, so then I had told you about Twin Peaks Primitive. This is, um, this was one of their exclusive samplers. I'm having a little bit of an issue with this. It's a beautiful chart. What I've started so far, I'm working on the lighthouse, but my lighthouse isn't red. I'm using the extra designs threads that came with it. And I don't mind the color of the lighthouse. It's gonna be this, but the, I don't think that's gonna fly for the American flag. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have to do um, different colors for the American flag. This is on the fabric that came with it. So I had a very little start. I started the windows and I, it, the thread is really nice. It's a, what are they? They're not silk, I don't think. Stitched with. Maybe they are. These are the these are the threads and I'm really loving them. It's just I don't think that I don't think the colors for the blue and the red and the flag, these are perfect. My little one's waving at me. Um, so I'm I think I'm gonna have to pull from my stash different colors for the flag. Just but it's beautiful. I love this chart. I started it. I think maybe I'll try to finish the lighthouse this week. I, I'm trying to stay two or three days 
with the same project and I feel like I'm making more progress. So that's really great. Plus I did do some quilting this week if you followed me on Instagram and I have a couple other projects. Plus I did have to start packing some stuff because I don't want to be doing it all at the last minute. Um, also with the quilting, I'm working on a project for um, a fundraiser. So I didn't want to, um, I need to get that done before I pack up and move and I'm not sure with everything and so I'm gonna have to put it on the long arm soon as soon as my fabric comes, which I got a shipping notice, yay. Um, so, and I'll show you that. Um, also with Mania, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for Mania. Um, I don't want a new start every day, but I think I'm going to try to work on some of my whips, the things I have in progress. I like Jesse Watson. I would like to finish The Amazing Grace. I have my next charts for that series coming, for that series coming, um, Whip go number is going to be called on the 27th, 26th or 27th. So I have those things to work on. So it's just, um, it's just seeing what needs to be done and what I want to do. I think I'm going to start a few new starts. Um, I have some Disney charts that I had showed you and I started kidding them up. Um, and there is a sale in May that I want to um, join in my thread just came yesterday so I can show you that in my haul um I think I'm going to show you my plans and then I'll show you my haul and then I will show you the couple of quilty things um that I worked on and the projects I'm working on right now I had a couple bigger projects I actually packed away because um they're not going to be done when the house is done and I wanted to do some patriotic um summer quilting kind of stuff and I do want to start, I showed you my chickens. I want to start my chicken. Um, I want to start my chicken um, placemats. They're placemats, that's what they were. So let me show you my haul. I had out quite a bit of, and then I'll show you something else I had worked on. Um, this came yesterday. I had gone to kit up. I, actually, let me show you my things I kitted up. And then that'll play into my haul a little bit better because somehow when I was pulling threads for these, um, these all need fabric. So I just need to decide what fabrics I want, but I got, I got all the thread from Merida. I just need to decide what color I want to do her on. I don't want to do her in white. I might do her on coffee tea dyed because I think she might look really good on coffee tea dyed. Or I might do her on an ivory, but I find the plain Ada's to be very stark, and that's really not my vibe. Um, I, I decided that when we get in the house, and I, when, I'm going to do a house tour when the house is done and I can get in it um, and show it empty. And then I think as we, sh we hang up our artwork and I start decorating... I will um, share more because we have a lot of artwork and we have a lot of Disney artwork. So that's why I kind of want to do these. And I think these are going to be for me, but they may be for my girls. Um, this is Anna and see on here, I, I said, I need this color because for some, some reason that either that color wasn't there or I missed picking it up. I only get about five minutes in Hobby Lobby before my eight year old decides, um, mommy, I've had enough because she gets very overwhelmed. And then this is one of my favorites. I love Meg from Hercules. And this is, so if you guys have any ideas about um, the color fabric, I would love to hear them and you could post them below. Um, here's Meg, come on, Meg is awesome. So I'm kind of thinking coffee tea dyed, especially from Merida because of the period she's coming from. I might even do Meg on a coffee tea dyed. Um, I love coffee tea dyed. And I like to do it myself, so it's all good. I actually have quite a bit done already, so that would be great. All these say need fabric, need fabric, need fabric. 
Okay, this is for my husband, and this one I'm kind of stuck. This one I might do on Stark White Ada. And this one was only four or five colors, so it was cool. And it's all grays. I don't want to do it on black. I think I'm going to do it on white. But maybe I'll do it on a black. I don't mind black. So it's three colors, and it's This Is The Way. And then I have my other, um, my Mandalorian box from Forbidden Fiber I can do too. So that's all good. And then I love this one. I love Hocus Pocus. And this is, this one I love just because it's typography. Just needs, I'm thinking of doing this on a, possibly a, like a lavender or a peachy color. They have it on dirty linen. So I could even do it on a coffee tea dye. But here are the colors for that. And this one looks like a cool quick stitch. So I think I'm going to start this one in Mania. I think I'm only going to do like five starts and do two or three days on them and then work on um, whips. And I feel like that way I'll get um, stuff accomplished. So that makes me happy. So those are part of my plans. Okay. So as I was kidding this up, I realized I was missing colors for a couple of things. And there's a sal in, somebody on Instagram um, messaged me and there's a sal for this. And I could not find any of the, um, specialty threads for this. So I had to order and there's a local needlework shop up near where my daughter goes to school. So I, um, ordered what I needed there. And then I ordered a couple things from one that I needed from one, two, three stitch. So this is my one, two, three stitch order. I got, I use Pat Carson, but I also like John James needles. And I, somebody went in, oh, I dropped something. Somebody in a floss tube was, was, bleh, was talking about these peacemaker needles. So I got a couple of those to try. So I got some needles. So that's good because we can all, always need needles. And then I told you I love Amazing Grace. So I got this and I, is this, I really want a dough bowl. I really want to do a dough bowl. So I need to do this. And this is, what's well, bigger than I thought. <gasps> my nose is itching. I will tell you my allergies here are, I never had allergies. So here they're so much better. So I really like this. And then I got the three colors of DMC I needed. And then I got, this is Capri. Oh, I got this one because I thought it was pretty. We should always buy floss just because we think it's pretty. And then I bought a Lizzie Kate chart. I am not a huge Lizzie. I am a Lizzie Kate fan. I don't really like how their patterns are written. Does that make sense? There are certain patterns I, I open up and I just put them back and I just don't like. So let's see this one. Well, this one's not bad. This one, I probably could blow up a little bit on the printer and read a little bit better. Um, but I got the ABCs of Christmas. My nose is just like itchy, so I may sneeze. So I like, I'm not a fan of Weeks Dye Works and a lot of charts. I like, um, I like the color and cotton I used. I liked um, the Forbidden Fiber. I like Classic Color Works. I'm not a fan of Weeks Dye Works. Sometime, something about every time I use it, it knots up noise the crap out of me. So I, that was one order. Oh, this was the local needle workshop up in Pittsburgh, New York, um, Hobby House Needle Works. And it was funny because I was listening to a floss tube and somebody mentioned them. I was like, oh, wow. And I think I'm going to send my daughter and finishes school in a couple weeks. And I think I'm going to send her there and have her get me a couple of things so I had my order and they were so sweet I ordered a piece of fabric just to try um, it was an 18 count hearth and they were out of it so I didn't have plans for it so they they substitute they said can we substitute this I said look you can substitute anything as long as it's not 14 count I'll stitch on 14 count but it's not my favorite I will be honest 16 18 and 20 are my wheelhouse I like them so they sent me, they substituted a fat quarter of 16 count win winter's dusk. Oh, maybe, oh, 
Maybe I'll do the Halloween piece on this. Cause it'll be, what do you think? Should I do that hocus pocus word typography kind of thing on this? I think I'm gonna do that. It's beautiful. And I think I'm gonna send my daughter to buy some linen and a couple other things. Um, there is a local needle workshop in Little Rock here. Little Rock's a little bit far. I also believe there's one in Oklahoma somewhere, not too far, over near Tulsa, which is not too far. So I'm gonna have to check them out eventually and see their online ordering, because I really do wanna support some more small businesses. Um, I supported this one because it happens to be in the town my daughter goes to college in. So I did also get um, a whole bunch of floss. I bought the rest of the green I needed for my um, Amazing Grace. And then I did get all the floss to do this. There's gonna be a stitch along on Instagram. Somebody sent um, a message to me on Instagram and I'm, I was just waiting for my floss and I just need to decide the color. I think I'm gonna do a coffee tea dyed on this. Um, I like coffee tea dyed if it's into my wheelhouse. Um, so I have, now I have the floss for this so I can say yes to the stitch along. So, but look at all these, here, I'll even, I like how, um, it came really nicely packaged, um, nice padded envelope. Um, they refunded me postage because I overpaid, which was really nice because a lot of places don't, when you do buy online, they don't refund postage. So anytime a company does that, I really want to support them because it just shows me the kind of people they are. So I got here are the week's dye works I got. Um, some I just got because I like the names of them and then I have to see which are for other projects. But I may send my daughter, I do a lot of the stitching with the housewives, so I might send her to go get some bamboo and some other stuff. So here are the classic color works I got. And then, and the rest of these, I've never used these. The rest of these are the gentle arts. So I've never used these, so I'm excited to use these and I really like them, I like the colors. I think I bought this a couple colors just because. So I have to check my notes. I have to get better about when I order online, writing notes about what stuff goes with. Can anyone else relate with that? And then let's see what else. I did get a couple other things. So I'm gonna do this stitch along. I will find the name of the, the hashtag for this stitch along and I will post it. And anybody, anything I mention, I will try to post below. But when I go to edit, I kind of lose my mind a little bit. Um, a couple of my orders came in. I have, oh, I think I just ordered this for us to order it. Um, this is eggshell and roasted chestnut. This came from Annabella's. She has an Etsy shop. Sometimes stuff comes super quick from her. Sometimes it gets called up in her local distribution center because I, I track everything. Um, then I got this, I want to do this one. Wicked Stitcher Society from Silver Creek Samplers. I like this one. I have no floss for this, no plans to stitch it <coughs> anytime soon. <coughs> Excuse me, something in my throat. And then I also got this floss, just because. She sells these two packs, and I think she just sells them because. So I get these. She does have this cute thing called, I don't know what she calls it. It's something cute, but it's for finishing, and it's like two cuts of fabric, really reasonably priced. So I haven't ordered any, but I know she has the a lot of Kimberbell and other things. And then Brenda and the Serial Starter are doing a Blackbird weekend. This week? Next week? Okay. This one. 
It must be next weekend, the first weekend of May. It starts the 30th. So I got this book. I saw this book. I was like, oh, I like that. And I think I'm going to do... I might do this. I like this. I'm falling in love with samplers, so um, it reminds me of a sampler. It's called American Eagle. I also like this one. This one's called In Full Glory. Oh, this tells you how to die, which we'll talk about dying in a second, because if you follow me on Instagram, you saw. Um, this one's called In Full Glory, and they have it as a pillow. This one's a little, looks pretty big. Yeah, this one's pretty big, so I probably won't do this one right now. I might start this eventually and like keep it as a long stitch. Maybe after I finish Jesse Watson. I don't want, to me, Jesse Watson is very big for me. So I don't want to over commit myself. And then they have this one. Um, looking at it in on the chart, this is called Sweet Land of Liberty. Um, if you made this square, it looks great. Uh, looking at the chart, you can do this square. So I might do this and make it a little pillow. And this one, it measures, the finished size is five by four and seven eighths by four and a half. So really cute, little, small. So I might do this one because I like this flag hanging down. It's really cool. Um, so that's one order I got from Annabella's. I'm making a mess on my cutting table, so it's going to have to get picked up because I have stuff I need to be working on. Okay, and then I had pre-ordered from her um, these new Stitching with the Housewives charts. Um, Liberty Farm. I love this farm. This farm is so cool. And I'm, I'm sure you've seen this already, so I don't really feel like taking it out. But how is that with the sunflowers? So cute. I also thought that would look really cute with my Ray Dunn B stuff when we move. And then I like this, America the Beautiful. I have a tiered tray tidbit I haven't started yet. And they've come out with some really, really, really cute ones. And then um, I also ordered the thread packs for, this one is for America the Beautiful. And then this one is for Liberty Farm. And they're a lot of the same colors, but I like to have my thread that goes with my stuff all together. So I generally, if somebody has a thread pack, I buy it. So there's that. So I'm probably gonna kit these up once I decide what color. I don't really wanna stitch on black. This house we're living in right now, stitching on black is a pain in the rear. Um, if you have pure daylight, it's great, but I don't want to sit all the way back here away from my family to stitch, so I try to do this. But I also think that these both would look great on coffee tea dyed. The only thing on coffee tea dyed, you might have to change the color of the barn, but I'm thinking of possibly doing it on a blue. I think on a blue, it looks so great. Okay, put those together later, throw the floss in them. And then I'll show you what else I got. I took part in F Friday Night Fight Night on the Be Stitch Me Facebook group. I'm also a member of the Be Stitch Me Fabric of the Month Club, which will be coming. But um, yeah, so this was like a week ago, the fifth, around the eighth. So I got, I'm thinking that I could do here. These are all Ada, because I told you guys I'm a lady. And if I want to read, I have to put reading glasses on. It shows you. I told you I'm going to be 50 this year, so. I'm thinking that one of the um, stitching with the housewives patterns could go on this Ada. Is this not the bomb? I love this. This is so great. This is an 18 count. I love Brandy's fabrics. They're so nice. So that's one. I'm actually going to take these out of the bags. They don't need to stay in the bags. I have a basket that I put all the fabric in. So, and I'm trying to leave all these tags 
and put them in my project bags when I use them so I can tell you guys what fabric I'm using. This is a 16 count Ada. It's an opal. It's called My Precious. It's got a little bit of a glitter in it. I like this. Oh, I might do one of these other charts. Maybe do the Blackbird on this. This is really, really cute. I love the variegation. So, and then this one is called Sand Dollar. And it's a 16 count Ada, it's an opal. And I love the colors in this. I like that they're kind of cool neutrals, not so plain. So, <coughs> somebody just pulled my throat. Excuse me one second. And then this one is a 14 count. And I got this one just because I really loved the color of this one. And I couldn't find anything sim similar in a higher count. So this is it. I don't know if this one, this one doesn't have a name. And it's a fat quarter. So I love Friday Night Fight Nights. I think there's one this week. So I will try to see if I can get anything, but I really, really love these. Okay, then I had told you I have a box of stuff that to rip dye and I wasn't gonna do it here, but I decided I really, really wanted to rip dye. So I took some Ada that I have. I buy it the cheap stuff in Hobby Lobby or Joann's or whatever. Oh, excuse me. Um, so these are three different counts of 14, a 16, and a 22 or a 20. And my own labels are in the other room, so I have to put them on. Now, this is Rose Quartz. And this is one I did. I have no idea what I'm doing on this. Uh, this is probably a little bit better representation of it. And if you followed me on Instagram, you saw the whole process of this. I was bored last week, and I decided... Yeah, I'll give it a try. So there's that one. And this is cherry red. It's more like hot pink to me than a red. And I have no idea what to put on this. Maybe something patriotic? Hmm. Maybe? Do we think we can do something patriotic? That or maybe some typography of some sort. Um, and then this one came out great. And then I will show you the blemish on it. Well, you'll pick up the blemish. See this? This is, um, I think this was denim blue. Um, see this right here? I was patting it dry with the towel and I guess some cherry red was on it. So it came on there. Not really, it's fine to me. It doesn't bother me. And then so I coffee tea dyed. Not coffee tea dyed. I writ dyed, that was fun. I'm gonna try to figure out how to do two colors. Um, I'm gonna watch for sales for white Ada. So that, oh, I didn't show you one thing because it fell. Oh, you know what, I think I know what I'm gonna do. And then I also have this pattern to do. It just needs the fabric. I've got all my colors right here. I just need to decide what color I wanna do it on. I might do this one on, Maybe possibly this color. Maybe, I don't know. I might try to see. I might have something else here that'll work better. I might I might just do it on white. This might. But we'll see. Maybe not. I have a very hard time deciding on colors or fabric. It's something that's difficult for me. Okay, then that is all my That is all thing. I have a couple plans for quilting. Um, actually, before I get there, let me give some, um, let me tell you about a couple people I love to um, watch. Um, there's another, I wanna give a shout out for somebody who's just starting out. She's got about 10 floss tubes, maybe eight. She just posted another. I'm so behind on floss tube. I gotta put a TV in when I move in to my new craft room because 
That way I can be productive and watch Floss Tube at the same time. Um, her name's Sarah Stitches. Uh, she's another Arkansas um, stitcher. So I wanted to give her a shout out. She's so cute. Um, and I give her props. She's um, taking care of her mom who has dementia. So that's tough. I know my grandpa had dementia. So it's I give caregivers the props in all this world. Um, then I don't know. I love mother daughter teams. And so I love they they have three floss tubes right now and I love their work and they're so cute. Um, they're two tall stitchers. Another mother daughter team I like is the Cornhusker State Stitchers. They're cute. They make me laugh. I'm always laughing. And Jamie and her projects. I Anybody who does Hades and full coverages, I, I look at full coverage and I'm like, oh, I really want to do that. No way. <laughs> it's supposed to be relaxing, Kiara. Um, so check them out. Um, and both of these um, mom and daughter pairs, um, they're quilters. They, somebody said, I think somebody knitted or crocheted too. So let me show you what I've been working on and what I have to do. Why I haven't been doing as much stitching is I started, um, the Fat Quarter Shop is doing this thing called the Jar Jolly Bar Roll Along and they're making this huge table runner. Um, I don't do table runners because I don't have a table right now and I don't know what I want to do for a table in my new house. I want to, I haven't decided if I want to do a, I have a weird space. It's not weird. It's just, there's a window and then it comes like this. So I don't know if I want to do a long table or if I want to do more of a round or a square table. So I don't want to do a table runner. So that's part of the reason I did my place, my chicken placemats. Um, so they're doing, there's, Fat Corner Shop has these things called Jolly Bars. And last year during the pandemic, one of the first things I did was their Jolly Bar 2 um, sampler quilt, which has to be quilted. It's in a box somewhere now. Um, so this was book three. I love Jolly Bars. I love pre-cuts. Anything that takes a little bit of thing off my back, love. So they're doing this Jolly Bar roll along. Um, I have to catch up. I had showed you my block one. I have to do two and three. They're not terribly, well, three's definitely not terribly hard. So that's my goal for this week. Um, and I follow Pat Sloan and she didn't want to do the table runner. So she put, she came out with an alternate layout for a sampler quilt. And this is her layout and you can get this on her website for free. Um, and the Jolly Bar roll along with the, the exception of the purchase of the book, you can do with your stash, with a Jolly Bar, with whatever you need. But this is um, her layout and I love it. So I'm going to do that. But um, I volunteered to do something for my DAR chapter and um, I'm in progress. I'm just waiting now for fabric to come. If you followed me on Instagram, you would know that, but it shipped. So I am doing this quilt right here. It's called the Garden Gate and I am doing it in patriotic colors. Um, they're gonna hold a raffle for it once I send it to them. But here is what I did this past week and why there was not as much stitching. I finished the top. So I'm going, because it's um, like 50 by 59, I like my throw quilts to be bigger. So I'm adding an extra border around it. I ordered the backing. So my goal is to, as soon as that comes, to do that and get it on the long arm. I, it takes me a long time to do everything because I'm so persnickety and always trying to figure things out. So that's all my goals for this week. Anyway, so actually I'm gonna finish my blocks for my Jolly Bar 3. I have to get a thing, a friend of mine wanted, her, her daughter wants to make some masks and need some cute fabric, so I have to do that. I have a couple half finished projects that are really quick sews. So I think I'm gonna try to work on those, do some more stitching, pack some more. I have to long arm this quilt and get it sent off. So that's what I'm doing. Thanks for hanging with me for, ooh, sorry if I bored you, I'm sorry. I hope I didn't bore anybody. Um, thanks for welcoming me. Please like and subscribe. 
I will post some links to different things and I will see you next Monday. Hopefully Monday or Tuesday, I think are going to be the best days for me to do this. So thanks for spending time with me and thanks for welcoming me. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.